Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. I am filming this video on November 6, and for my U.S. viewers, which are most of my channel, it's a very significant day. Just finished your presidential election. I'm sure some of you are very happy, and some of you maybe not so much. A significant event around here is we got our first snow of the season. Yay! Many more to come, I'm sure. And a significant event, for me anyway, is I got a viewer bike sent in, which we haven't had in a while. So let's have a look at this one. This is Kavir's bike from Vancouver. He had a Sportster before, sold it. This is his 2020 Street Bob. It's vivid black. He's got a fairing on it, saddleman seat, LED lighting all the way around. He's got a stage one with an open air cleaner, Vance and Hines pipes. Very nice looking bike. And if you guys, any of you out there, want to see your bike on the channel, uh, send me an email. My address is in the description to the video below. And now on to while you're actually here. So as I've been told, uh, about every October, um, the dealers have a dealer meeting. And they are kind of given an idea and kind of told, for the most part, what to be expected in 2025. And it gives them a chance to send in their orders for some new models that they can have in stock come January when things are announced. So I've been perusing the Harley sites. There's a lot of uh, videos out there nowadays talking about rumors and speculating on what's to come. Uh, what's to come. Uh, so I found a blog on one of uh, the Canadian Harley dealer sites, and it was basically titled What to Expect in 2025 for the spring. Now, a lot of it is the same thing you would expect, technological advancements, uh, this enhancement, that enhancement, but a few things kind of piqued my interest. So what I first noticed, and I should say, sorry about the lighting, it keeps going in and out, but what I first noticed was that they said they were going to be updates to the Sportster and the Softail line. And hopefully this year will be the year of the Softail because last year it was all about the touring models. So an update to the Softails. Also, they talked about enhancements to the Milwaukee 8 engine. Uh, that's also good. But the big thing that caught my attention was where they had customization. They came out and they said, expect more customization, enhanced customization. But they said, for your touring road glide and your Harley Davidson Fat Bob. So to mention the Fat Bob, really caught my attention because as uh, us North American folks will know, uh, it was not available in the 2024 year. However, it was overseas, I believe. So why would they put Fat Bob in there? Is it a typo? Is it just somebody who didn't know any better just thinking, uh, what's a Harley Davidson uh, Fat Bob? Or is it a little wink to the consumer that, hey, you might be seeing a new Fat Bob coming out? So, and I'm just speculating here, I'm thinking, could this be the same as they did with the breakout not that long ago? The breakout took a bit of a break here, especially in North America. It came back after a little bit, and it came out with a bigger engine, a little different styling, came out looking better, in my opinion, and could they be doing this with the Fat Bob? Could we see a new variation of the Fat Bob coming out that has different styling and maybe more importantly, a 117 engine, maybe a variable valve timing engine. I don't know. Could we see this? Who knows? I'd like to think that that could be a definite possibility. And of course, I'm just guessing, but I have to wonder that when you've got a Harley dealer saying, here's what's coming in 2025, updated Sportster models, you know, enhancements to the to the Milwaukee 8, and mentions the Fat Bob for whatever reason, I think, in my opinion, we could be getting a little wink and a nod to a new updated model coming out in 2025. But what do you guys think? Do you think Harley's going to go that way? Or is this just, just a simple mistake, a simple typo? I want to know what you guys think because there's tons of rumors at this time. But anyway, that's my opinion. I think we're going to see a new Fat Bob in 2025. 
And that is going to be it for today. So until I see you guys again, catch you later.